Hello, I'm Dr. Zimmerman and I'm going to talk about assembling parts in Second Life. I'm using the Firestorm viewer. Some options we'll be discussing here may not be available or differ if you are using another viewer. There are a few methods we can use for bringing parts together in Second Life. So let's get started by going into Edit. The building window opens and I get this indicator at the top of my screen currently showing the position of my prim at the sim coordinates. When I hold control for rotating, it will show the degrees of rotation. When I hold control shift for resizing, it will show the sizes of my prim. The first option we have is snap to grid, the one with the most possibilities. We have to enable the snap functionality and we can do this here at the building window. There's this little checkbox we can mark to enable snap functionality. Or we can use the G key as a shortcut on our keyboard to toggle the snap function. If I hit the arrow here at the right of this um, checkbox, the grid options open and I can set the units for the grid. Now, to have our prim snap together, the units should be related to the dimensions of the prims we are using. More specific, the grid should be an even division of our basic prim dimension. Say we are going to build with whole meters, one meter, two meter, three meter, etc. will be the sizes of my prim. The basic prim dimension here is one meter. So these prims will match on a grid as an even division of one meter being half a meter if I divide it by two or 25 centimeter if I would divide by four or also if I divide by 10, a grid on, of 10 centimeters. For now, I'm going to use a grid of half a meter, which is uh, divided by two. Now, how does this work? If I grab an arrow, I can move my prim and you see the grid outline appearing. Um, currently, it's not snapping because I have to move my cursor above this grid outline. So I have still have the arrow. I hold the mouse button down and I move my cursor up and now it is snapping at half a meter. And you can see this also here in the top indicator. Okay, now more handy than uh, the using the arrows, arrows are these triangle handles we have here. Those allow us to snap on two axes at the same time. The red green one for the X and Y axis being the horizontal plane. So I grab my handle and you see the grid outline appearing like this. And now I can snap this prim on the horizontal plane. And this way I can very easily bring my other prims in place and you will see we have a perfect match and so you can build with snap to grid fast and accurate now if i'm going to resize one of my prims and i would just do it like this it will no longer match because the dimensions of this prim are not in relation um, with my grid size. So I, for this, um, to preserve the snap functionality, I have to snap resize. How do I do this? I take my resize handle here, and I, again, I move my cursor over the grid, and now I can resize in steps of half meter. I'm going to two meters here, and say three meters here, to keep my basic dimension of whole meters. And you will see this snaps to what I have. Um, now, as an example, say um, the whole meters are uh, too large for me. I want to work with half meters. So I can have this prim at two and a half and here say at one and a half. Currently, this will not uh, match because my grid I have set is uh, too large for this half meter basic dimension. Um, so I would divide half meter in two set a grid of 0 0.25 which still works for the prims i have because for them it's a division by four um, and now you will see all this is snapping together again one last remark about snap to grid the units we set here are not fixed they may shift by camera distance this is not really a problem for the larger grids, but certainly for the smaller ones. Say I'm going to work on a grid of five centimeters, 0 0.05, which I actually do a lot. That is this grid. 
So if I move my prim here, um, I hope you can see the top indicator. This is going up by uh, correctly five centimeters, 0 0.05 meter. But if I zoom out, say I have my camera here and I want to bring it in place now, this is not going up by five, but by 10 centimeters, the double of my setting. If I zoom out even further, like that, now it will go up by 20 centimeters, four times what I've set. If you go check here, it's five centimeters. Still, when I'm snapping with my camera over here, it will snap at 20 centimeters. So remember, if you're using smaller grid sizes, zoom in close enough to get the correct grid. Okay, the next option we have is using the Align tool. I have these three prims and I want to bring them together. So I'm going to select them all and I'm going to activate the Align tool at the building window here where it says Align. And a bounding box appears around the prims involved. Notice we have double arrows at the moment. This means we are, we are in alignment mode. If I'm going to click one of these arrows, it will align all the prims towards the opposite side, like this. And the result is a perfect alignment over there. With Ctrl Z, I can undo my action. Say I would hit the red one over here, it would align them like that. Now, if I hold Shift, notice the arrows change in single arrows, and this means I'm in packing mode. And this will, if I click the arrow now, push my prims against each other, like that. Or if I would do it on the other side, like that. So in general, if you're using the Align tool, what will you do? First, you will align your parts, and then you will pack them up. Now, we can use a combination of Snap to Grid and the Align tool. Say, this is my building. I'm going to enable Snap, Snap it. I'm building a house here. Like that, okay. Everything is Snap to Grid at my building. And I want to bring in those two prims. I'm going to select them and one uh, on my build. Activate the Align tool, and now I'm going to align those two towards what I already have. So this one may not move by the Align action. So I'll bring them to one line and then pack them. And now these two prims I brought in are, are snapped to the grid as well. So this way you can keep everything at your build nicely snapped and bring in more prims using the Align tool, which can go faster and you don't have this uh, zooming problem we have with Snap. Next option is copy paste position. I have this blue prim here and what I can do, I can go to the object tab at my building window and here where it says position, I can hit the C button to copy the position of this prim. I can select another prim and I can hit the P button to paste that position onto the prim and it will be at the exact same spot. This also works for um, copy pasting size and a rotation. Now let me show an example where this comes in pretty handy. Say I have been building this house and I have this door here, but then I decide I do not want one with a window, but I want one closed with a panel. Um, so then I would copy the position of this door, move it aside and paste the other one into place and it will be perfectly where the other one was. So you could have like a build with 20 of these doors and then just texture or script one and copy paste them all in place to, to replace the doors you have. Okay, now I'm going to talk about manipulator on root, which is important for snapping link sets. I have these prims here and they're all snapped to the grid and I'm going to link uh, those three here, make one object out of them. So they are together and notice the manipulator is at the center of my link set. And chances are this is not going to match anymore. I've lost my correct snapping. I can fix this by bringing the manipulator on one of my prims and I can do this here at the building window. We have this uh, checkbox, edit axis at root. 
and when I mark it, you see the manipulator has been brought onto my root prim. And as this one was snapped, now everything will snap again in place perfectly. Um, I made a little example over here. Say I'm um, building here. If I would um, have this um, wall part and this wall part, they both snap perfectly in place. But if I would uh, link a door to my wall and I have the axis at the center, as is by default, this is not going to snap against my wall part, as you can see, because um, the position of this door and the frame influences um, where I have my manipulator. So if the wall part is the root, yellow outline, and I have axis at root, this will snap in place perfectly because it's wall against wall. Voila. Manipulator on root is also very handy for fine tuning parts. Say I have this garage door and I need to bring it inside the frame. Now, if I would just zoom in and edit it, I can't even see the manipulator because it's uh, over there at the center of my uh, door. Um, what I could do in Firestorm is go to the preferences, the Firestorm tab and the build one tab. And then I have the possibility here to um, change the position of the manipulator. Um, so I could bring it over there and then move it up. But I find this tedious and you have to set it back afterwards. So I hardly use this. What I do, I just uh, raise a regular prim and bring this one where I want to have my manipulator, like that. I'm going to resize it a bit. And I link my garage door to this prim with the manipulator on root. I have it where I need it and I can bring this one into position unlink and get rid of the small prim. Now, uh, one last option we have here is um, fine tuning by numbers. Say my door is a little bit over there. Um, first, I have to look the axis I'm going to work on is the X axis and I have to bring it back. So I have to lower the number. Then I can zoom in. And here at the building window, um, it currently the position on the X axis is at 0.6. So uh, let's try um, 5, 8, um, 5, uh, 5, even further, 5, 3, a little bit, uh, 5, 25. And like this, you can also bring something perfect in position. This, uh, this was it. Uh, thank you for watching. Have fun building and see you in Second Life.